Hello everyone, here's a question from exercise 2.2, chapter is fractions and decimal of class 7. I'm doing fifth question here. Question is, Siley plants four saplings in a row in her garden. The distance between two adjacent saplings is 3 by 4 meter. Find the distance between the first and the last sapling. Now what do you mean by sapling? Saplings are nothing but a small plants which you get it from the nursery. They're called saplings, okay? Like you get a saplings of mango tree. So you will not get a big tree, you get a small plant of mango tree, right? Those are called saplings. Now she bought a four saplings and she want to put it in a row. And they have given the distance between each sapling. Adjacent sapling means from one sapling to other sapling, the distance should be three by four meter. That means, suppose uh, she is keeping a first sapling here, second one is here third one is here and fourth one is here okay this is column wise let me do it row wise here suppose the first sapling is here second one is here and third one here and fourth one here so distance between this two that is from this sapling to this sapling the distance is 3 by 4 meter again from this this sapling to this sapling the distance is 3 by 4 meter from here to here it is again 3 by 4 meter so they are asking here find the distance between the first and the last sapling the total distance that is from here like uh, from here to here what is the total distance this is the first sapling and this is the last sapling which is the fourth one so what is the, what is the distance between this two so you can see that we know the total distance right so three by four three by four three by four so if you add them up you will get it but instead of adding three by four three by four three by four like that three times we can you have learned multiplication right so we are adding three by four how many times three times so instead of adding it like three by four plus three by four plus 3 by 4 this is time consuming instead of doing that since we are adding 3 by 4 3 times we are going to multiply this with 3 so 3 into 3 by 4 we are going to do so this you are going to get same answer but instead of adding it we are going for multiplication you are going to get the answer very quickly like this is a uh, easy way so I hope it's clear how to get the answer now let's write down what we know from the question here okay so here they have given the total distance so let me write down that so distance between each sapling or the adjacent sapling each sapling is equal to 3 by 4 meter next they have also given they have four saplings right so total number of sapling is total number of saplings is equal to 4 now we have to find out the distance between the first one and the last one therefore the distance between first and last sapling is equal to I hope it's clear now so this is equal to we have I just showed you how it is 3 into 3 by 4 because the distance between each sapling let me explain once again this is the first one this is second one this is third one fourth one so we have here this is one 3 by 4 meter distance this is again 3 by 4 and this is 3 by 4 so you can see there are only three gaps present though the saplings are four four saplings are there but the gap is only three so total distance will become 3 into 3 by 4 so instead of adding 3 by 4 3 times like I showed in the starting of the video 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 you can even do that you want to get the same answer I just want to avoid the addition here because it's going to take longer time so we're going to go for the multiplication because we're adding 3 by 4 here 3 times so 3 into 3 by 4 is an easy way of doing it so this will be equal to 3 into 3 by 4 now we cannot cancel numbers so just multiply them 3 into 3 is 9 so 9 by 4 now we're going to convert this into mixed fraction we have 4 in the denominator so 4 2s are 8 8 plus 1 is 9 so 2 1 by 4 meter is the answer that much distance is there between the first sapling to the last sapling so i hope this question is clear in case you have further questions or doubts you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching